Hi, I'm Diane Spadola, and welcome to the Thursday afternoon tune-up. Uh, this is episode number 37, and this video series is brought to you by Accelerate Your Success, the six-month business booster class for entertainers. When I am done with this video, you can jump on over to Facebook, uh, look in the Groups tab for Accelerate Your Success, and then you can join my free Facebook group that is all about marketing and business management and all the things that you didn't really learn about when you were learning about entertaining. So, think of this video as your information and inspirational pit stop before the race, which is your busy weekend. If you're anything like me, business is starting to heat up as we move into the fall scenario. Um, people are calling, lots of people are calling, some people might be emailing, some people might be posting on your Facebook page, and they're wanting quotes and availability, and sometimes those are short notice, like this weekend, and sometimes they're a little bit farther out. However, um, as we get busier, we need more quick responses from our customers and our prospects so that we're not holding dates unnecessarily. Uh, this is our livelihood, if you're like me, um, and I can't afford to go without a gig on the weekend. So uh, today's uh, Thursday afternoon tune-up is about following up with what I like to call, I used to call them laggards, but that wasn't very complimentary. So now I call them slow responders. Slow responders, they call you, they're planning their party, they might get a quote, they might even get a contract from you, which means that you've agreed on all the particulars with them over the phone or email. But then it's nothing but crickets. You don't get the contract back, you don't get the money put down, and meanwhile, you're holding that date and potentially a subcontractor to do that event. That's not fair to the subcontractor and it's not fair to you. So I'm going to give you some one, two, three, four, five recommendations on uh, what you can do in follow-up with the slow responder to get them or encourage them to commit. First of all, you definitely want to get in touch with them and you want your contact to be direct and to the point. I recommend email, especially if the person has been communicating with you on email. Now, if that's not the case, you have a little bit more difficult scenario because you have no documentation that you followed up. So a voicemail is good, but an email is better. Facebook Messenger and texting is probably the least uh, appropriate. Texting might be good because you get an immediate response back, but it's hard to put a lot of information into a text. It's really important that you not repeat yourself. So don't tell them one message on the voicemail and then say the exact same thing in the email. You want it to be to the point and you want the call to action, which is what you want them to do, to be really specific. Call me today. Respond to this message. Send me a text. It needs to be direct and to the point. Secondly, money of our customers are very, very busy like we are they may not even remember contacting you. Or if they did, they don't know how long it's been. So you need to give them some, establish a connection and establish some context around your follow-up. So explain who you are, not just your name and not just your company name, because they may have called a lot of people originally, but reference the actual party event and that you might be the face painter or the balloon twister or the magician so that they have can put your follow-up message about holding a date into context. Thirdly, give them a deadline and share the consequences of what happens if they don't respond to the deadline. Don't do it in an ultimatum. Don't be mean. Don't be snarky. Just be matter of fact. What I do is I say something to the effect of, if I don't hear back from you, by the end of today, I'm going to reassign your artist to another event. Okay? So it's simple. It's basically saying I need to do what I need to do for business, and I'm giving you fair warning to make sure that that consequence does not happen. Then 
if you still get no response and you've been communicating all along in whatever form you are communicating, be it phone, email, texting, what I would suggest is give them one last chance and try a different channel. So if you've been commuting, communicating through voicemails, try email as a change or try a text as a change. Um, I don't think Facebook Messenger is the best way to run your business, and that's a subject for a whole nother video, but it might be the channel that they're not clued in with as opposed to the desire to follow up with you, okay? If by chance they still don't respond, then you need to go on and do what you said, which means reassign the artist, book another gig in that spot, and if they do call back after that has been done, and you have no capability of being flexible and responding to their need, you can apologize profusely, explain what you did to follow up, and offer them, you know, $10 off on another booking. You tried the best you could to nail them down, but being a slow responder, they did not respond. And now you need to do what you need to do, but be polite, Thank them for the business because they are still trying to get in touch with you and hire you and give you money. All good things. But as we enter our busy season, we can't be holding dates for clients that are not responsive. That's it for this week. Be sure to pass out those business cards this weekend. <laughs>